Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're enjoying this beautiful weekend. Hope you're having a beautiful weekend wherever you are. We're having some just wonderful weather here and I talked to you yesterday about the joys of each season and one of my favorite joys of spring, summer, and early fall is sitting out here in my patio and I just started to get some of the flowers on the shelf there and it just feels so good. I can watch the birds. They still come around even when I'm sitting here reading and just feels so good. So I told you we were going to be starting to get into Sarah's May entries. This is our Simple Abundance journey, by the way. We're um, reading through Sarah Von Bronick's book, Simple Abundance. It's a day book and in May we're going to be doing a lot of discussions about the house and home. and. In yesterday's entry, May 1st, she talked about a sacred partnership that she hopes that we all can have with our home. I absolutely feel very connected to where I live. It's such a feeling of, like I can just go like that, like such a feeling of comfort and, and love when I walk in the door. And I hope that you can get to that state of being wherever you are and it might be doing some of the things that she has suggested and then will suggest later in this month as far as going room by room taking things off the wall rearranging stuff just really getting it to feel like it speaks from you and it has things that you like like colors and things that like images that you like you can probably see in the background of my videos when I'm inside I have a lot of dragonflies butterflies mermaids peacocks I, I just find that things sort of speak to me oh and I you guys haven't seen my whole bedroom but I do have a lot of Native American things in there that I really like so in yesterday's entry, I just want to read one thing that's really, really cool about what she says about the house. Well, I'm going to start where she's talking about relationships. Every relationship we have with other people, your work, your art, your passionate yearnings, reflects in some way your soul's intimate relationship with you. Nowhere is this spiritual truth more apparent than in the relationship we have with our homes. Have you ever thought about that before? I don't know if I really ever thought about my relationship with my home. Like I know that I have always loved it and I put a lot of care and time into decorating anywhere that I live, but I didn't really think about it's a relationship. But the emotional attachment, good, bad, or indifferent is a spiritual daily tutorial of love. And she's quoting John Donahue here. Everyone longs for intimacy and dreams of a nest of belonging in which one is embraced, seen, and loved. Something within each of us cries out for belonging. We can have all the world has to offer in terms of status, achievement, and possessions, yet without a sense of belonging, it all seems empty and pointless. Yeah. I mean, that's separate from, well, I guess it's related to the house because if you feel like you belong, in your home, whether you're amongst family or just by yourself in your home, then I do believe that sense of belonging is really important. In fact, what's coming to my mind right now, I've mentioned Brene Brown, that other author, and uh, she talks a lot about the feeling of belonging. And sometimes you can even be with people in a situation and feel lonely because there isn't that sense of belonging. I wonder if you've ever experienced that. Let me know in the comments. Today's entry, May 2nd. Oh, you know what? I'm actually a couple days behind. Today's the third. <laughs> well, I'll go through. I haven't read today's entry then. I'm the date I'm dates I'm off. Well, I'm gonna do first and second. So yesterday's entry changing places it's called and she's talking about how she's moved a lot I've moved a lot and she does look forward to setting up her 
house and I told you I love decorating and I think Sarah does too from all the things that she's talked to us about. Um, this is a really rather long entry in the new book. I think this is one that she just really went to town with. Uh, I didn't compare it to the old book, but in her old book, the 1990s edition of the Day Book of Comfort and Joy version of Simple Abundance, most of her entries are maybe a page, if not a page and a half. This one is like four pages. Um, I'm going to read a couple of things that she says in here. Oh, I should have marked them. The love affair with a house is the most spellbinding and hypnotic tale that we can be told. Whether a woman is single, divorced, married, or widowed, age 18 or 80, there's no passion as perfect as the dream that someday, some way, somewhere, she will inhabit her own cozy nest. Because there's nothing more enchanting than planning her home's beautiful decor and no illusion as seductive as the fanciful notion that once she crosses the threshold, threshold, shall she be there forever, which is a difficult fantasy to dismantle. From the scented linen closet to the built-in kitchen pantry, from the window seat plump with decorative pillows or the rose-colored covered arbor leading to the backyard, each nook and cranny of a fantasy has been lovingly imagined since we were little children playing house. Yes. Did you guys have doll houses? You know how I am. I I didn't show you my fairy garden yet this year, but I get so excited with my fairy houses. It's, it, it brings up that feeling of playing house when I, I had a, my dad made me a doll house and it looked like our house too. It had black shutters, it was white, the red door that I told you I liked. And it had wallpaper and rugs and furniture. I love it. My sister's got it in her house now. I saw it in the basement when I stayed there a few months ago. We talked about too with we talked about this in another entry, I can't remember, I think it might have been the color entry, about a woman that she knows that has a big scrapbook for her house and it's not unlike the Illustrated Discovery Journal where she puts in de de um, decorating ideas but she also has like measurements of rooms and ideas for each room that she wants to make improvements to. I haven't gone so far as to do that, but I have in my own journal written down things throughout the house that I want to like replace a picture or get a different colored rug or little projects that I want to do. So I get a lot. I get really into my house. She closes by saying, you deserve to live in a home that embraces, nurtures, delights, and inspires you. And if you haven't found your house of belonging yet, remember this, dar darling girl. All that you are seeking is still seeking you. Put the master builder's blueprint down to shelter your soul. I promise you are closer than you think. I like that. Let me just look at today's really quickly. It looks like today's entry is a prayer. I'll let you read that. That's May 3rd. And I really like this quote at the top. It's from Anne Truitt. I have no home but me. That's a whole other thought. I have been thinking a lot about that lately because with this pandemic, I have been seriously considering, do I need to move? Do I need to change my expenses? Things like that. I am hoping I don't have to move because I do really like it here. But I was thinking, I can live anywhere. I've lived in a lot of places. And I know that if I had to find a new place, 
I think I could still make it my own. But I would personally be sad right now to leave this place that I really have tailored to my taste more than probably anywhere else I've lived. And I do take delights in my views and my garden and and I can't Annabelle's watching me from inside in the window. I can't I can't move Annabelle right now. She loves it here too. But even if that happens, I like what she just said, the home is within us. You take yourself with you wherever you go. I know that for sure. So no matter where your home is, and whether you look around and your home isn't what you want it to be yet, there's still hope. Just take it room by room, one at a time. And a lot of it is, oop, there's a little chipmunk. <laughs> Did you see him? And you can, you might see Annabelle in the window. She's chasing him. She's chasing him from inside. Um, I lost my train of thought. I don't know. Just feel so relaxed today. Glad you're here with me on the channel. Come on back for more on our discussion in May 2020 for our Simple Abundance Path. We are exploring Sarah's principles, joy, harmony, beauty, order, simplicity, and gratitude. Have a beautiful day.